time. I know we're probably still wildly behind, but uh, if people are willing to undertake the journey, we can play the sequel, which is uh, quite a bit faster. Business company. It's like, ah, yes, well, I'm going to my work job. To do some corporate. Still haven't set up Cypress. Uh, Cypress, I, I don't know what I was ciphering. That is Cypher's name. Uh, and thanks for the GG, Shanna. All right. Sid of Valis. This is a chibi remake of Valis 2, which is kind of the darkest game in the series, plot-wise and content-wise. Are you rogueless? Ha ha ha. Are you the Valis warrior? Who are you? Megus the Emperor of Darkness. I'm waiting you to come to Vacanti, Sid. For whatever reason, okay. This game was originally called SD Valis when it was released in Japan, referring to Super Deformed, the art style. That got localized as Sid for some reason. So they changed Yuko's name to Sid. And this is a weird little game. I like to compare it to uh, Wonder Boy 3 uh, Dragons, uh, Wonder, Boy uh, Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair on the Genesis. As you know, it's kind of a shmup, it's kind of a platformer. And I like comparing games to vastly superior ones. Hand over the Sword of Thalys. No, I won't. Okay, and I'll also completely fuck up the quick kill. Wow, I have not died in this game in a minute, so... Whatever. Maybe I should just uh, start playing the game instead of regaling the audience with anecdotes. Nah, where would fun be in that? Okay, I seriously don't know. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay, get the China dress, as well as the wide beam. That's right, I have a double jump. I kind of blanked there for a moment. Uh, the cool thing about this game is it's largely a boss rush. So there's very little downtime. There's a lot of action. The controls are horrendous. They're super slippery, like you're on ice all the time. Why do you want the Sword of Valis? You will find out when you get to Vacanti. You will never win the fight with the red fighter dragon, Zaluga. His hitbox is his head, so uh, we use the wide beam, aim straight up, and just hit his head without touching his toes, because if we touch his toes, we get hurt. And there we go. Easy. Sword of Valis! Lead me to Vacanti! And there we go. We got our magic armor back. Oh, what's going on? Who's this? Reiko! 
Why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be dead? I'm always with you. The leftover forces... Okay. They're screwing up the translation here. It's supposed to be the leftover forces of Rogueless. Megas is Rogueless's brother who was taken over, but uh, understandably, Rogueless's former forces are kind of upset with Yuko for killing Rogueless. And you can do an AI manip on this boss. You just go into the corner here and shoot straight up, and he. Uh, just gets stuck with us. You kill him. Yeah, there are two instances where the game refers to the incorrect villain. And I'm actually going to take the time to kill some of these enemies because it's annoying otherwise. No bottomless pits in this level, which is good. I shouldn't be damage boosting this aggressively, but oh well. Shouldn't have used the bomb there either. I don't care. Now, this guy can be kind of annoying to manipulate. Hence why I died. This is the most I've died in this game in, like, a really long time. Start from the beginning of the level. I don't have any bombs, shit. Oh, I forgot they don't respawn. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, remember, I, I don't know if I mentioned that this game is a hard game over with no continues. So, uh, <laughs> we might be seeing level one again. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try this again. See if I can abuse me some iframes. Okay, since that heart's a full heal, that's fine. And we get a bomb here. There we go. Guard suit is going to be pretty useful. Not on this level, but in the next level for sure. This section, which is much more difficult than it looks due to the slippery platforming controls, uh, Made uh, substantially easier by the invincibility pickup, which is good. And I really want to uh, get to the top before it runs out, which I didn't. Because... Oh, man. Oh, this is... How am I playing this badly? You get bad at video games when you don't play them, apparently. And we get to the top and it despawns the enemies, fortunately. So there is a quick kill strategy you can do for this boss. Get out of my way. She is the Valis Warrior. She is strong headed. I am the Black Panther Dragon, last of General Megas' forces. General Rogus' forces. Warrior Velus. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand here and shoot his projectiles, then hit him in the head. 
You can manipulate him to jump forwards, which allows you to score an additional two hits per phase on him, but that is dangerous and uh, I don't want to die. There we go, and he's got an extra life. This stage, I want to use the homing beam, and I also want to use the guard suit. Well, I don't want to use the homing beam just yet, because it's kind of weak. But the guard suit makes it so enemy attacks only do one point of damage to me, which is good, because... Some of these bosses kind of suck. Oh my god. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna just use the regular and... Gonna... <laughs> we're gonna die again, is what we're gonna do. Wow! How the hell did I... I speedrun this game. Why am I forgetting how to uh, play this? Okay, we're, we're gonna take it slow. Kill all of these cute enemies. Okay, but still... If you crouch while you're using the homing attack, you can cancel out some of the cooldown frames and end up with a lot more projectiles on screen at once. So it's about finding the right rhythm of crouching. I got my speed suit and my three-way beam. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna use three-way beam and switch back to regular armor for this section so we get more power. And there is an extra life here that I'm gonna grab. Fortunately, the game's pretty generous with extra lives. I just got another one from score. I think it must be every 10,000 points or something. Oh, there is a brief delay between when you land on the ground and when you're allowed to jump. That really sucks in the acid pit there because it means you can't jump out of it. Basically, uh, your, uh, your jump gets cancelled. Oh, wow! I didn't know that the turtles do, too. Okay, let's go back to guard suit. Man, I have forgotten more about this game than most people ever learned. All right, made it. So same deal on this strat, if we uh, crouch, the right rhythm, we shoot a lot more projectiles and kill the boss really quickly. And because I don't want to die on the next boss, I'm gonna continue wearing this guard suit. This guy's gimmick is he does a lot of damage. You must be the girl that's fighting against our Emperor Megas. 
Megas, who is he? He's our great leader. All enemies of Megas must die. Now you must die. So I want to take the hit from the boss's body and not from the missiles, because the missiles do twice as much damage as uh, body blows. So intentionally damage boost. I think maybe you're supposed to use the speed suit to uh, dodge the missiles, but I've never been able to do that. All right, onward to greater heights. Valia! It's too late. Oh yeah. Uh, Valia dies off screen. And this is Valia's daughter, who is your sister, because Valia is actually your mother. This is all explained in greater detail in the original PC release of Valis 2, uh, which there's a really good version of it on the uh, Sharp X68000, actually. I'd recommend, you know, at least watching a long play of it, because playing it still kind of sucks, but, uh... A lot of good artwork, lots of blood and nudity, if you're into that kind of thing, which, I mean, really, who isn't? Megas is no match for us, my dear sister. Oh wait, Valia, aren't you supposed to be dead? Valna is our sister. Must defend the freedom of Vacanti. Go and defeat Megas. Yes, I shall. On, I get even cooler armor. All right. This stage is definitely the hardest in the game. Fortunately, the developers Admitting that the stage is the hardest in the game include an infinite lives loop in here. So there is over here this extra life pickup. So in this section anyway, we've got the unlimited chances. First section of the boss here. Not too bad. We just used the wide beam. Second section, you want to use the uh, homing attack. Spam as many projectiles on screen as possible. This guy's movement is RNG, so thanks, game. Sometimes he gives us good patterns, sometimes not. He gave us a good pattern this time, though. Level up! We start uh, getting more powerful versions of our weapons uh, in this level. With better sound effects, as you can tell. And we're about to go real fast, because we've got invincibility! And this boss fight... I'm gonna find the magic pixel, and just blast him! Level up! And at level 3, the most powerful weapon in the game is actually your default shot. It now does 75 damage, which will be useful against this nerd. My name is Heisen. 
You should be honored to fight me. No, you are the Welcome one who has the honor to fight with me. You silly little girl. Best dialogue in the game right there. This guy has three phases. Phase one, he just like twirls. Phase two, we went on the stands right about here and just uh, hold down on the D-pads and fire. He'll eventually die. You can technically go faster than this, but this is the safest way of doing it. Uh, this boss is also basically entirely RNG. It can either go really quickly or take absolutely forever, depending on uh, whether the game likes you or not. So if you're ever going to speedrun this game, uh, get ready to reset on this split all the time. <laughs> There are faster methods, like I said, but, uh, I want to finish the run. <laughs> okay, and now we go back to homing beam, go over in the corner here, and we just let her rip. Interesting that, you know, we're kind of mashing down on the D-pads. Uh, D-pad mashing, not as common as face button mashing in Genesis games. So, you know, this, this game offers, you know, exciting, new, innovative gameplay. Aizen is dead. Switch back to the wide beam. And it's the final level. You can tell it's the final level because it's got the uh, sort of bio-horror spinal column background thing. And this... Uh, this level, you're gonna see the sprites disappear more often than they're on screen. A lot of flicker. This is a uh, blast processing a little bit too hard for the Genesis. Upcoming boss, if I do things correctly, you really shouldn't be able to, like, see him at all. Perfect. That actually was legitimately a perfect fight. Uh, the idea is you spam until, uh, he disappears and can't really do anything. I was waiting... I was waiting for you impatiently, Sid. What? It's only a matter of time before I rule the whole world. I won't let you do it. I will decide your final fate. So in this section, we want to use just the standard weapon because it's the most powerful. Okay, phase one done, we switch back to wide beam, stand about here, and we want to jump over this attack and duck under the rest. Mm. 
we want him to do the hand attack more than this uh, wide circular thing, because then we can get a lot more hits on him. So the RNG for this fight has been kind of middling, but uh, then there we go. We won. Yeah. You're stronger than I thought. Why did you do that? We can't have two emperors in one country. I myself was trapped in between dimensions. We need a strong warrior to save Vacanti. You are the only one I can trust. What? You must save Vacanti. Megas. Please save Vacanti. Megas. Poor warrior. All right, so let's explain the ending there, because that probably made absolutely no sense. Uh, thanks for the GGs, uh, everyone. I'll thank you in a moment. Uh, basically, in this version of the game, Megas was testing you to see if you had the strength to uh, defend Vacanti, because he knows that uh, Vacanti is going to come under attack from an even greater outside force. So it was like, haha, I'm not really evil. I was all testing you. Which is a really strange change of plot from the original Valis 2 plot. Uh, which <laughs> I won't spoil anything in case you want to play it or like uh, look up a long play of it or something. But uh, yeah, Megas is like the most irredeemable bastard of a bad guy ever. Like there's he's got no redeeming qualities. He's not like a tragic villain or anything like that. But uh, and you can see how much effort they put in the game because they straight up didn't translate the credits. And they didn't translate the last screen either. Oh my. Okay. Good job, Yuko. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for the GGs. Uh, Bacon Omelette, Zetox, Radioactive Man from Mars, Infinite Mystery, Team Kills, Wax House, Arnodes. Uh. <laughs> M. Samps. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Shannaberry Blast. Yeah, after the explanation, I still don't get it. I don't get it either. But uh, what I do get is it has been a lot of fun uh, doing this uh, Segathon. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and let me share these uh, three pretty cool games with you. Uh, I'd say I probably played them in descending quality, <laughs> descending order of quality. Uh, El Viento is the best one of the three, followed by Valis, followed by Sid of Valis, probably. But, uh, yeah, uh, are, are we ready for, uh, the next streamer? I believe we've got, uh, Cyphrin with, uh, Earthworm Jim 1 and 2, which I'm pretty excited for because I love those games. Uh, are we ready or should I, uh, should I continue, uh, filling, uh, dead air? Oh, thank you, Wax. And thanks for the additional GGs. Uh, two GGs for the price of one. Team kills and infinite mystery. And, uh, no, thank you, Radioactive Man from Mars, because, uh, you inspired me to, uh, to learn the speed run for Valis and uh, get good at it and become the uh, third person to get a sub 15 in the game. <laughs>